welcome back to World of Warcraft. Wrath of the Lich King Classic Blind. I specifically lined up the bridge there to make that work. Walking across things, going places, doing stuff. Heading down to the Stone Talon Mountains. Got some stuff to do down that way. And probably going to end up needing to come back here. Especially since one of the quests is a return here with things from there. But we'll worry about that when we actually get down here. To get to the Stone Town Mountains, we have to go through a pass. Just down this direction. Not as easy as going to Felwood or the Barrens here with their full roads and convenient locations. Should be this way. Through a tunnel. It's in the intro. We've been here. The Talon Deep Path. Good stuff. Up a mountain. Into this right here. Which apparently already counts as Stone Talon Mountains. Go ahead. Alright. There are a few places we need to go. And a few things to do. I don't expect there's going to be too much to do in the Stone Town Mountains. Not a very happening location. Or so it seems so far. It's also quite a bit out of the way. No, that's okay. Got a nice lit tunnel pass here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And the Baron's Port. That's in Ratchet. Do that later. So we just need to find a guy, find another guy, and get some Pride Wing Venom Sacks while we're here. That's more towards the middle of the area. Exiting, we find ourselves in a bit of a forest kind of area. With some spiders. Looks like we're going slightly lower level here, maybe? It looks like it. For the most part, at least. Windshear Crag. And also a whole lumber camp going on over here. As if there wasn't already enough deforestation. What a mess. What a mess. Quest over here. So let's head that way. Up in, up in the mountains, behind the mountains. What's your crap here? It's down below, possibly in the mine then. Could be. What's your mine? Yep. Hello, you guys. Look at the stuff we got in here. Tin, tin, or silver in there. Yeah, just being rude. Right, further down than this. Or on this way. Not this way. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah, here. Pisnik. Time is money, friend. I Rinzo's orders. You know, I was once the second most important person here at this site. That all changed when Grizno took over, fired my boss, Ziz, physics, and sent me down to work in the mines. Ziz told me to stay here and gather information, though. His new boss will pay us well if we can find out what Grizno's, Grizno's plans are. Anyways, what I do now, what I do know, is that Grinzo has ordered large amounts of this gold green ore to be mined. And give you a sample to bring to Ziz. You'll have to watch for patrols while I get it. Get the mysterious ore. Have a good one. Watch my back while I get some ore. Some of this ore. Mysterious green ore, you say? I doubt it's going to be Serenite. You never know. Anybody coming? I'm ready for him. 
Oh, there they are. Not supposed to be here. Come on, boys. They're dead. Mm -hmm. Got them. Very possible. More patrols here. The Windshear Tunnel Rat. Geomancers, vermins. Alright. Oh, we could totally help with the mining here. That'd be fine. We could easily do some mining. Found a gun. <laughs> you just click, then you find a shoddy blunderbuss. Wild. You done yet? My goodness. It's taking a little bit. <laughs> Waiting. Send out a campfire. Have a nice resting. Surely by this point, a second wave would spawn. Even if it was just time based here. Wild. Talk to you? No, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's not going anywhere else to mine. He's just staying here. Look out! It sounds like more of them. Really? Just gonna walk over here for a second. They coming? A little bit preemptive. That's okay. More of them. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. His warnings are greatly exaggerated, it seems. On the plus side, the one minute cooldown will be up here. <laughs> he said more of them were going to come, and then they absolutely did not. Huh. <laughs> not, not the most action-packed quest, I can tell you that much. Weird. Oh, here they are. Put that down. Just a while longer. I almost have it. I knew should should they stick around. A windshear overlord. Linen. Just a just a little while longer, he says. What are you trying to mine? This one? This is wild. This is wild right here. Bizarre. <laughs> Once you get two groups that tank, usually gonna get to a third one. See if that ever happens. Jump around a bit. Yeah, whatever. There's a drink or something over here. You know, if you use this, it would mine faster. This is bizarre. We've been here so long. I think. The regular spawns are going to come back pretty soon. <laughs> Complete. There, I've got it. Wow. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks, Eric Erickson. It's looking a little dicey there for a second. We've probably drawn hey. far too much attention to ourselves. <laughs> the important part is that we have the ore sample. 
though. And we should get it to Ziz as soon as possible. Be good. That was it, sir. <laughs> Eventful. <laughs> I guess I'd better think about getting out of here, also. It won't take long for word of what happened here to spread to the higher ups. I'm sure they won't wouldn't take too kindly to meeting me again. I'll sneak out and meet with Ziz. Hopefully, he'll be able to find me a new job. Try and clear up this mess a little. We should take the ore sample to Ziz right away. Told me he'd set up camp somewhere on the western side of Windshear Crag. Good luck. Keep it real. Okay. So he says he's gonna leave, but he just keeps mining. Go for it. Alright. One rock. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All these guys can just not. <laughs> Walking. Eh. Dead end. <laughs> Still bonky guy though. That's alright. I think the silver is further down. All these different mine levels. It's definitely a system. Okay. And anyway, we're out of there. It's on the western side of the area here. Let's get moving. Winch your crag. Okay. There's a cliff storm here. It's chilling. Venture Co. Loggers. Ah, Venture Co. What a mess. What a mess. And Deforesters. Similar to Loggers. More, more of a direct mass system. Yeah. Venom Sacks. Let's see, like the quite correct ones. I said they're more up towards the lake here. I'll probably get better chance of loot there. Pride wings? Still pride wings. We'll see if we need to worry about that. Here is a whole thing. A little camp here. Here is this is. Yo. Here's those orders. Be good. Is that what I can help you with? I'm gonna fight or have a good one. Uh, I think I'm I knew that I did the right thing by telling Pisnik to stay behind. I'm sure the engineers in Undermine will be most interested to look at this. Of course, I'll want to keep a little peace for myself. But what they don't know won't hurt them, yes? Boots. Keep it real. A Super Reaper. 6,000. We're getting reputation with Ratchet, Booty Bay, Gadgets, and Everlook. Cool, cool, cool. Terrible what the Venture Company has done here, eh? What were they thinking? Goblin Company hiring a gnome. Like it for me. Sputter val Valve knows a genius when he sees one. Hired me just after I've been kicked out. Tells me they built some enormous woodkind machine, and so it wants me to steal the plans for him. Unfortunately, Garenzo, bloody gnome, wants me dead on sight. Maybe you could steal the plans for me. You should be able to find him one of their uh, find them on one of their operators. You get the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints. Be good. From the guys. Over here. It was also a quest right on this one. Turn that in. See if there's anything else we need to do with the loggers and all the stuff there. We can continue further too. Up there. That's interesting. All the way around this rock to get to here. On the plus side, if it's further up, we might end up being able to drop down. So that worked fine for me. Who's here? Who are we looking for? A tiny little camp here. Okay. Some rust fizzle. And okay, a shop speaker. Okay. Ah, you've come from Ashenvale, the best of Terra. How I miss her. My homeland and friends. Just to doing well with the Sentinels to be sequestering adventurers for other tasks. I'm proud of her. It's a pleasure to meet you, Edgar. Okay. Okay. On guard in Stone Town. 
The situation here in Stone Town is obviously grave for a night elf and gnome to be working together. The Venture Co. has devastated these lands, and I've spent most of my time putting an end to the destruction. Do not judge Gaxim prematurely. He understands the need to work for us to work together. Wish to aid us and start by speaking to Gaxim. Sorry, I can't send you back to Harrow with good news yet. Perhaps soon. Farewell. This guy over here. Good quest. Treacherous. Treacherous and dangerous. That's what this land is. But I'm here to show the night elves that it's a little safer with the help of a good old engineering and a dash of magic. See, throwing off magic completely won't help the night elves. They need it. The world needs it. With engineering and alchemy to boot, you can't go wrong. The possibilities are endless. Be seeing you. And gnomes respect. You see, Eric Erickson, I'm a member of the Enlightened Assembly of Archaeology, Alchemy, and Engineering S Sciences. And it's my goal, nay, my duty, to show the Night Elves that a blend of magic, mixtures, and mechanisms can help save their forests. But it's a hard-fought war, and the goblins are just like rabbits, it seems. I haven't even had time to build my newest inventions. I need some time to plan and organize, but to do that, I need your help keeping the goblins at bay in Winter Crag to the east. Ten ventricle loggers, ten deforesters. You have a great day. Though. Perfect. Defeat the loggers, deforesters, and get the special thing from there. Operators for the blueprints about the whole thing. Sounds good to me. Getting multiple things done. Compliments. Go in the direction here. That that guy be an early. Okay. Little logger. I just need to sprint around, feed them. Loggers. It did. One over here. Whack him. Easily one hitable here. There's a deforester. It's also good. Get him. Another logger here. There is a bigger guy. Another logger. Deforester, Deforester. There's an operator. So these are the ones we need for the other bit. The operator here. Meat haunch, lovely. Oh, this whole thing. We can climb up on that. Brilliant. I say we do. Line of sight issues here, that's alright. Is this the Super Reaper 6000? Sure, it looks like something that would be called the Super Reaper 6000. Very large. My goodness. You find more operators in. The logger. It's not the right one. We need operators and. A few more deforesters. Loggers. There's some deforesters. There we go. Oh, operator there. Perfect. Deforesters, deforesters. Operator. Let's have a couple operators in here. Loggers, deforesters, deforesters. There's a lot of guys here. Oh Let's find more operator type guys. If we can. 
They're also small and similar. Got loggers. There's an operator. He's dead now. Well, I'm up top here. Yeah. One operator down there. That's just a forester. That's your healing potion. Not quite. I find them around more of the setups here. Let's find some other constructions. In there we might find some operators. There's an XT4. That's not an operator. Wires. There's something happening. Pulleys and stuff. It's an operator. Upper stuff. Easier said than done, it seems. There's an operator. There we go. Super Reaper. 6,000 Reapers. Very good. Yeah, if that's that huge thing over there, that's dangerous. That's something we really want. Or we can just have the blueprints. Make it ourselves. It's also an option. Get attacked by things. Copper. Okay. Turn these in. Probably going to be a quest to defeat the various mech cutter guys. Seems highly likely. And after that, let's see if there's any like large leadership or anything in the whole logging camp there. So that should be fine. You find those plants? I'm here to impress the new boss. Hopefully, once he's convinced of my loyalty, well, as much as he can be convinced, Goblin's Honor, you know, you'll feel comfortable making use of my rather impressive genius. Keep it real. Is that what I think it is? Great. Now, let's see. Uh, how am I supposed to understand this stuff? Can't figure out the way gnomes think, let me tell you. I'm surprised they could build the wheel, let alone those fly machines like they, they like so much. Have a good one. Further instructions. Well, that's all the information I was able to snatch as they booed me out the door. Make sure company intel documents. Some manuals, technical things. Oh, and of course, the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints. Sputter Valve has taken up residence at Ratchet in the Barrens. Shouldn't have much trouble finding him. He's a little green fellow. To Ratchet. Be good. That's another quest we have sending us to Ratchet. That's very much feeling like the next area we're going to be getting to. That should be good. Have to go all the way around the mountain during this quest. It's more just a hill. It's fine. If we could be right up there, that'd be great. Maybe we could fly. Wouldn't that be an idea? Anything else you need before we continue on? Can I help you? Thank so much for your help, Eric Erickson. You've, you're actually back just in time. I think I've got a perfect plan. Explosives. No, that's not the plan, but it is, it is part of the plan. So you've been using high explosives. Don't worry. They're not as dangerous as everyone thinks. Scare the goblins back a bit. I can hurt them pretty good with a few key detonations along the mountain's edges. We've been low on supplies now for a few days. Off and away. Let's see what we get. Some proper ingredients. We can create some explosives. I mean, a damage Venture Coast operation. It also costs abstraction. Now you're pressed. Let's get better. I'll tell you more soon enough. Old Alrighty colleague. Then. The best I'm thinking about is my most advanced version to date. And you have special potion for it if it's going to work. I think we might as well get the good stuff since this mission could be your last. And for that, we're going to need some. Potent explosives. Nitro. 
Mergulaceronium. Not just nitroglycerin. It's a whole extra multiple things going on. <laughs> the only person who can make that is NG5. Well, the only person who can make NG5 is old friend of mine, Lomac Gearstrip. Look for him in Tinker Town. You talk him into making us some NG5. I'll get to work on placement of my devices. In Iron Forge. My goodness. And a scroll from Marn. Okay, I'll for the remote detonation part of my plan. Oh, I haven't explained that yet, have I? Okay, so short of it's like this. A little magic to make you so the explosives go off while you're not around. Putting together a device that allow you to push just one button and the MG5 explode when you're ready. So I need to need a spell from a friend in Stormwind. Marn is his name. You can find him in the mage quarter there. He's human, so he shouldn't be hard to miss. In Stormwind. Be oh, goodness. Classic time. Go to some completely uh, somewhere on the entire other side of the world. Really? Alright, it's fine. We at least combine Ironforge and Stormwind into one venture. Should be a boat in Stormwind that we could take somewhere back in Kalimdor. We can at least accomplish that. Let's head up to the lake here. Try to get some of these venom sacks. Finish off by making our way up to the Stone Town Peak there. Get some stuff happening there. Should be good. This whole explosives plan is definitely an idea. We will see about that. <laughs> right. Around here should be the guys we're looking for. Yeah, bigger ones of these. That's <laughs> We need 12 of these sacks. That's yeah, quite a few. This way it looks like we're not going to be getting them every drop here. Okay. That's the second one. Flying all weird. <laughs> we got some nests over this section. Makes sense why they're defending it here. Bonk. Yes. Just pilfering their nests. Perfectly legitimate. Very reasonable. Oh, another one. Right up the wall there. Brilliant stuff. This could take a little bit. There's a third. Let's see if we got quick spawns happening here. Looks like it. That's good news at least. There's one over here. all over the place. Gotta say, it's a lot better than the alternative, which is waiting around for minutes on end. I'll take it. I'll take it. My goodness. There it is. Popping out of the woodworks here. Would not want to be messing with that if you weren't prepared. We are we are very prepared. I mean they have these, they have their nests here. <laughs> They're just all spawning. Very quickly. Wild. Okay, any more? 
get rid of all of them? There's one. And another one. Sick. Sick. There we go. <laughs> the quantity of dead wyverns here. Out of control. Out of control. One last. Of course, we're gonna turn in here. All the way up at Stone Town Peak. And technically, from there, we have a, a flight path. Which could have its value. Could have value. Depending on how we go for things. Kind of need to go back to Iron Forge and Stormwind. All that. Rocks here. Maybe this way. Off the beaten path here. All right. Right. This way. And a lot of venom sacks. Should be great. Okay. Tin. Not crazy. Yeah, not a huge amount of stuff out here. There is Sunrock Retreat. More of a board spot. Really like caves and stuff down here. Nothing too crazy. Let's connect to the barons also. More of a board third zone or something like that. Durotar, Barons, Stuntal Mountains is around that kind of level. That works. There's still a few things to do. Even where, when you're in other kinds of zones like this. Like the whole scenario group here. Hey there, rule. Keeper. Finally, you arrived. I see. Andres has listened to the forest spirits. Looking around? Can't find it. Reclaiming the Charred Veil. As a protector of the forest spirits, you can undoubtedly guess why I am alarmed. You have traveled through these mountains to reach this peak. Surely you have seen the travesty which has befallen the land. It has led to the destruction of these sacred hills. The Charred Veil to the south was set afire by the greedy mechanized army of industrialists. Worse yet, the blood furies that have encroached on the land refuse us passage in to begin regrowth. Drive the wretched harpies out, Eric Erickson. Kill many, many harpies in the charge veil. We can do that. Charge veil is also getting over towards Desolus here, which is interesting. Would it be quicker? Fly Come to the back camp and walk around. Potentially. Okay, the natural spot's just right there. But it'd be quicker. Probably even at this point it still would be. You look at this path here at least. Look at all the random fur we have here. That's not super useful. Just various vendor trash. Essentially, it's just a another small amount of money. Put in a slightly more interesting package. That's alright. Also these fish scales, which are even less money in an even less interesting package. That's alright. There's that tin vein again. Nah. Nah. A little bit of fall damage. Wild. Charm Veil is off to this side here. That should be good. We'll loop around. Nope, that ain't it. 
This is a completely different little sign path there. Look to a little bit of ore. That's nice. There's more of an actual path here. Eh, not really. Further down this way. This little fire guy. That's how you know you're near the charred veil. Because it's charred. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Yeah, we need to kill 28 harpies here. There's quite a few harpies. My goodness. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath. I'm sure. There's some harpies. Harpy down. Harp down. There are more harpies further down in here. Got a bunch of basilisks. That's not really what we're going for. And rogue flame spirits. Just little, little fire guys. Again, charred veil. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay. Going on a harpy hunt. Gonna get all of them. Too far away. That's not even one that counts. The wind collars are for some reason. Blood Fury Harpy, though. That's what I'm interested in. Let's kill all the Harpies. It also works. I just want the more interesting colored ones here. Not the Ripper, either. Very specific on which harpies we need to defeat. Could end up being an ambusher. Not the ambushers look the same. There's a chimera. Tree guys, basilisks. That's blood one defeated. So we need ambushers, slayers, and rogue feathers. No wind colors now. There's a slayer. There's a rogue feather. Storm witches? No. My goodness. There's a slayer. Too far away. Not ready yet. Slayers. There's a slayer. There's the absolute quantity of different kinds of harpies out here. Pretty wild. Stormwitch. So, not so much. I haven't found very many rogue feathers or ambushers here. Looking around. Not too many harpies over on this side, it doesn't seem. Stormwitch. Stormwitch. They're so picky. They're so picky. Stormwitch. There's a rogue feather. And a box. Feels like we might be in a kill everything in order to get respawns and stuff kind of situation. So much. Sandwich. Slayer again. We found a few rogue feathers. But only one ambusher. That's interesting. 
some mithril over here. Yeah, I can work with that. Strong witches. No. Just looking at some respawns happening. That's a plus. Wind crawler. We just defeat the wind crawlers here too. That's an ambusher. That's an ambusher. Hmm. Oh, let's keep going. Just defeat them all. Oh, great. Wild. Definitely a little bit of padding out here. There's an ambusher. Great. Park it here. Here. Another box. Wind colors. Another wind color. Found a few ambushers here in the general middle area. There's an ambusher. That. Ambusher here. Now I just need a rogue feather. We're in a slightly other section. Let's go this way. There's one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So I think a loop around here should work nicely. Get all the stuff we need. Bring it to the place. <laughs> the quantity of dead harpies there. My goodness. It's out of control. But we're in control. We got this. <laughs> Making our way back. When things load. Eventually. to uh, Iron Forge first, to be in the right spots. Iron Forge. And over, over to the Gnomish section. That's right where the tram is too, so that's pretty convenient. Come on. Dragon. Basically right across. Hog Spores and then in. Around and around. That kind of was reclaiming the charred bale. I suppose. Everyone there is dead. It'll be easier to reclaim, that's for sure. Right. Tinker Town. This guy right here. Thanks to the explosives. Perfect. Reading. Ah, Jackson sent you, huh? How do I know you're not lying to me, hmm? Hmm? Off and away. Hey, okay, Neptune plus chemicals equals fun. Ah, you need nitromeglyceronium to stop goblins from destroying a forest? I don't care if you know Gaxum or not. I'll give you the stuff just to see you or them explode into itty bitty pieces. There's a problem, though. I'm all out. I'll tell you what, you're giving me the correct. Potions. And I'll make some up for you right away. The least you can do is prove you got some skill as an alchemist, for I just give you a sample of my greatest creation. Four minor mana potions and two elixirs of minor fortitude. Right. Okay. Well, in a wild turn of events, we already have three minor mana potions. I guess we're going to the auction house. And hopefully these are on the auction house. 
An elixir of minor fortitude, you say? Yeah, we'll see. We are always on the lookout for some elixirs. Kinda. They're somewhat helpful. Get in here. And one minor man potion. Alright. Shopping. For elixir of minor fortitude. There we go. Looks like minor fortitude. Perfect. A stack of seven, a stack of eight. We only need two. Let's take the cheapest one here. Buy it. And then a minor mana potion. Minor mana potion. Just one. One stack of one. Beautiful. Well, that'll do. That'll do nicely. And yeah, we'll only take the things we need here. We'll worry about all the other stuff in here later. They're not going anywhere. J just, well. If we left, if, if we left them in there for an entire month, they would. For right now, they're not going anywhere. So it should be fine. Increase player's maximum health by 27 for one hour. Oh boy. A one tenth of a percent improvement. E even that much? A thousandth? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, a little bit, a little bit more. We have 24,000 health. Can't make any. Metromeglyceronium. They don't have these potions. They're vital to its creation. More mana and health. Ma makes explosion, huh? Sure. Be seeing you. This will do nicely. But I didn't know better, stranger. I say you knew something about alchemy. Good, good. Well, it's not all about source and sorcery, you know. Daylight's burning. More of a blacksmith myself, but that's all right. Here you go, stranger. Take heed with it, though. It's volatile stuff. If you're really a friend to of Gaxons, then tell him I say hello. If not, if you're not, then have fun blowing yourself up. You have a great day now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Alright. Go over to Stormwind now. And the deep run train. Can't come out of here. That's alright. Okay. Get in the middle so we can be on either tram. That should be fine. Whichever one gets here first. Stand on some barrels. Instead of taking the nice subway benches. Waiting. Not waiting anymore. Waiting. Alright. Express ticket over to Stormwind and it brings a fire along with it. Amazing. Let's try not fall off the tram here. A campfire underneath us. Let's see if we could make a campfire off the path and just zips away in immediately. Underwater! There's Nessie. Amazing. Quite the... Quite the tram they got here. Pretty great. It's not actually on the map here. All the way from... Our Force Storm right here. I guess the other question is, what large body of water did this go under? It's kind of bizarre. No matter. No matter. You guys gotta get through here. And loading. Right. To the mage 
it's work. Okay. Now on the other side of town here. Then we need to find a human. In Stormwind. Could be a difficult thing to do. You never know where a human might be. Seems right now we just ran them all over with a dragon. That's fine too. Going for a canals approach there. It does have some limitations. Depending on where you can get up. <laughs> there we go. It's fine. And the mage part in here. Right here. Mages. They've got him. Looks like he is... Right here. Hey there. Hi guy, I'm just hanging out. What can I do for you? Now, this spell you need will allow you to detonate explosives from a distance. Hmm. Safe travel. Ah, I think I have it. A messaging spell. That's the effect he's looking for. To create a scroll with the spell impressed upon it. That I'll need debris from a dust devil. I'll gather the rest of the components. Why don't you head to Westfall, find one of the foul creatures. They are dangerous. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. If you're willing to subject yourself to one of Caxton's experiments. I'll be here when you return. Dust Devil Debris. From Westfall. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> Always more quests than Westfall. Fort. Obviously. Always something. Always something. Take a flight over to Westfall. Where the dust devils will be. They'll be around there somewhere. Just need to get a little bit of debris. Do -do 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 -do. Lion. Need help? I need a ride. To Sentinel Hill. That's where we're going. Okay. Now where would a dust devil be? Sounds like... This is a dust elemental. Could be some of those around here. Somewhere. We could have clicked this button and it would tell us right where to look. That's too easy. Gotta at least try a little bit here. It's not like... It's an actual challenge. Just a little bit of time. Oh man. Dust devil debris. Beautiful alliteration there. Love to see it. Run through here. Let's even spot a knee on our way through. That's an idea. Harvest golems. It's not really going to be a golem. Flesh ripper. Four tusks. You can immediately see them. We have a good old look around. I was a dust devil. We got lots of various animals all the various areas. Lots of golems in that section. Be more in the middle. Take a look around. I don't think there was any elementals up there. That was more culty kind of guys. Some core tusks. Paw guys. the dust of crops. Also a possibility. Through the middle here. There's a pool. 
I need water elementals. That's also, that's also assuming Dust Devil is water, is an elemental. It's the same, like, the Dust Tornado kind of thing, so. Presumably. Around here somewhere. Again, I'm thinking more in the middle. Core Tusks, Flesh Rippers. There's a Dust Devil. No debris, though. No, we know what we're looking for. That's good. Let's see if they are an uncommon spawn here, though. Could be difficult. Here's one. Too far away. Too far away. Dust devil. No debris. I mean, they're they're made of dust. So finding debris could be. Yeah, that's nice. Not much dust just yet. Maybe there's more after the sides here. That's possible. More tusks. There's one. Just double debris. Lovely stuff. Easy as that. It'd still be faster to go back to Sentinel Hill than fly. That'll work. That'll work. Let's get past this flesh ripper. Preferably without our flesh being ripped. Charge straight, straight past the Defias guys. Already dealt with all of them. Make our way back to Stormwind. Should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Bring this. Get that. Should be great. Jump off a cliff. Take 7,000 damage. Always a good time. Always a good time. We get there. At least someone. How you. are you? Yeah, hey, Ryan. Right back. To Stormwind. See you, right. As you might expect. When next will we return to Westfall? Time will tell. <laughs> what else we got here? I have a few interesting things in here. Really, these boots. Neat looking boots. Regular old gun. And not much else in the equipment department. Got a mallet. It's mallet shaped. That's alright. Not enough things to worry about dealing with the inventory just yet. We got plenty of space. We're doing great. For the lineback. For the lineback. Okay. Once we get this, turn this in. The epic entry into Stormwind view. Lovely. Yeah, turn this in, we get that other piece. We just need to return to places. We're probably going to need to blow something up with the explosives. That might finish that kind of chain there. And we dealt with everything in the charred veil. That could also possibly be the end of that business. It's not like there's a huge amount of other people that could give us quests or anything. But we will see. Next up, to the harbor. One of these boats will bring us somewhere. And then it's just more flight and all that. Yeah, I think we should be able to get back to Ashen Vale. Or something. Just stopping.
We'll scope out the boats. We passed Morin. Oh yeah. You do that first. That would help. That would help. Bring the dust. Not quite what we need. To the mage. Oh, they're more magical stuff. Always something. It's always something. Let's go around this way. Whichever way is fine. We found the component I need. Yeah. See you later. Let me just a few moments. I shall have your scroll ready for you. Just need to make dust for a communication scroll. Sure. Safe travel. Oh, he's creating the scroll. Look at him. It should only take a moment, Eric Erickson. Look at him go. He did it. He created the scroll. There you are, Eric Erickson. This should do nicely. Please give my regards to Hexen when next you see him. I look forward to hearing about this adventure when it sees its completion. Farewell. Have a good one. There you go. Scroll of messaging for the explosives. Oh. Alright. Let's get back to Kalimdor. This will be a place to start. Slower. Pros and cons of a canal based travel. You can go over to here. Get up there. There's options. There's definitely options. Alright. Pork, 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 pork. Fallen. Unnecessary fall damage, that's okay. Just, just a few. Just a few fall damage. That's okay. Alright. Got the both that goes. Not that way. The both that doesn't go anywhere. We can make it. Still in Harbor Guards. Dock Master here. Shift and balance keep. Nope. Not the current goal. What did balance keep? How may I help? Up over there. This is just a separate guy. Valence keep is. Yeah. That's where we took the big boat there. First one for the other boat. Talk to the harbor guard. Greetings. How's it going? Information. At the harbor. We're at the harbor. Try to reach Aberdeen or Balance Keep. At Stormwind Harbor. Head through the canals. Between the Cathedral District and the park. Go with honor, friend. Ah, yes. The harbor. Good directions. <laughs> Got there in the end. Or did we get the very end? We're, we're trying. This is gonna bring us to that. Oh, there's a marker here or something. You mean anything? That's probably fine. Stormwind Harbor. Up. Oh. That was you. Showing us where the Stormwind Harbor is. Why, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're actually here. Where's Boat at? There it is. It takes a little bit sometimes. That's okay. Alright. Alright. Boat. Yay. Engineer here. Oh. 
Hi, is this a store? Are you? Yes, it is. Repair some stuff. Sell some stuff. Probably. Soulbound. Food. Garbage. Cheap rocks. A watermelon. A cheese. These scales. I have some doubts on some of these other things too, but we at least try. Then. The mithril ore is definitely worth at least something here. This too. A cloth. Other potions. Some of these are a little bit dubious in value. Here you get. You get a light. Enjoy. Convenience. All kinds of stuff. On boats. Here we go. Sailing. <laughs> Sailing away. Next time, goodbye.